So I told you guys that I was going to try to vlog at uh, work tonight. Well, I just got here, and as you can see, it is definitely snowing. Um, most of the way here, I couldn't really tell where I was at on the freaking road, so it's definitely nasty out. Um, so I don't even know if our patient is going to show up tonight. <laughs> I don't know if they live in town or where they live, to be honest. So I guess we shall see if our patient, because I think we only have one patient scheduled for a study tonight, a sleep study. So um, it's just kind of waiting for that one particular patient. And his study is not until 830. So like I said, I don't know if he lives here in town or where. Hopefully he lives in town. Otherwise, I just drove in here for no reason. But I am going to go inside. It's only like 6.30 right now. But I'm going to go inside and go up to the sleep center because, um, yeah, it's nasty out here. And I have a feeling that when I get off work in the morning, my vehicle is going to be horribly stuck in the snow. Well, not stuck in the snow, but covered with snow. As you can tell, these other vehicles are starting to get covered in snow. It wasn't too bad um, earlier in the day, um, but it's definitely coming down now. So anyways, I'm gonna go inside and get my little routine started. I might try to show you guys some of it. I don't know if I'm gonna talk through much of it though, but we shall see. Okay, so that was a very uneventful night shift. It is 7.52 p.m. and I am heading home because our patient that was scheduled to come in at 8.30 called at 7 to cancel. Um, I wish that people would call and cancel like earlier in the day. Um, he was actually downstate in the lower peninsula of Michigan, about an hour and a half, two hours away from here. So I'm not exactly sure why he didn't call and cancel earlier in the day, like before myself and the other sleep tech drove all the way here because now I worked 0.90 hours today. So that's what I get paid for. And yeah, I'm going home. So I don't really know what is going on with people. But if you are a person who is a patient, has an appointment, or even if you're not a patient, if you have any appointment, please call and cancel before two hours before it's supposed to happen or an hour and a half before it's supposed to occur. If you know that you're not gonna be able to get there, cancel, please be nice and thoughtful and courteous to the people that are providing whatever service it is that they're providing to you and cancel your appointment. Like now I made the bed up there for nothing. I didn't show you guys that. I made the bed and I put the linens in the bathroom and everything for no reason. Um, but yeah, I guess it'll be there for whatever the next day is that we have sleep studies because as of right now, we don't have any scheduled for tomorrow and we have them scheduled on Thursday night. So I don't know what is gonna happen, but yeah, anyways. Um, we'll figure something out, I guess. But I am going to drive the 20 minutes home. It might take me a while. It does look a little bit better out here than it did when I first got here, but I'm just gonna take it slow and go as slow as I need to, inch my way home if I have to. Um, and I'll be glad to be in my bed. So anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video.